Good morning from Belgium. Here I am again. Welcome to my channel. Sadly enough, I still haven't got my new camera, so it's still waiting for that. So, what I wanted to show you today was how to germinate uh, banana seeds or musa seeds or anseti seeds. So, normally you buy them as fresh as you can buy them, but you never know what you get. So, very important. This is, by the way, my second turn. So they already germinated or didn't germinate. So those who didn't germinate the last uh, two or three months, I put back in water and I will put them back in warm soil. So what you do, you get your banana seeds and you put them in water and you put them like I do on a radi radiator or some place where it's warm and you leave them there for about 24 48 or a little bit longer and after that you plant them and that's something i will show you later welcome in part two so the soil mixture i use uh, or you, what you can use is uh, 100% vermiculite, perlite, you can mix it in with a little bit of um, compost or you can also use uh, cockle speed. So that's also very fibrous and keeps the moist inside, inside the soil. So this is my little tray for planting them out or for sowing them, sorry. So you see we have big seeds and those are the anseti glaucums we zoom in yeah and you have the little ones these ones that's, these are the musa thai black so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take that little hope you can see it anseti glaucum And push it in the soil like that and normally that's okay why because I'm gonna cover it so the moisture will keep inside the tray and the roots will sprout from above so it's not like other seeds they sprout from above and they go sideways so same we do with this one this is a tie black now watch you see this this little white spot put it upside because that's the place where the roots will sprout so I'm gonna prepare this whole tray and then I come back later okay now they are all in so just saw that I first sowed them the 3rd of December, so it's it's only one, one and a half month ago. So normally you should let them uh, germinate for about three to six months or even longer if you have the time and the place. So um, I already sprouted a lot of them, but these didn't. So I thought by myself I will put them in a smaller container. So. I don't need the, the space in my propagator that I will show you in a second. So what do I do? I put some water on top of them. I can assure you they are very wet. I can put this one little down in the soil like that. Okay. Then cover them up like this, close it like that, and then we move it, move it out of this into my homemade propagator here on the bottom. So I will show you how to construct your own propagator with simple very simple materials but important is that 
first of all you need light so you see this growing light second you need something to arrange your temperature okay focus okay so what I do is I put them 12 to 30, 14 hours on uh, 33 degrees Celsius bottom temperature and then my uh, electricity heating stops and they will cool down to about 20 degrees I think and then again up to 33 so that's important second important thing patience people patience so I told you so how is it after one month well something like this you see this one sprouting it's a Thai black yeah okay so that goes back in the propagator on the heated map and then you see these these already grow grew and also on the right side you see it's Thai black and the two back left are anesthetic locums so I hope you enjoyed this little video sorry for the quality because I didn't I don't have yet my new camera and uh, uh, you will see in the future a video about making how I made this propagator okay bye